following Succession's win for Best Drama Series at the Emmys 2022, creator and writer Jesse Armstrong, 51, couldn't resist taking a swipe at the newly appointed King Charles III, following his mother the Queen's death last week. Addressing the crowd, he said, big week for Succession. New King in the UK this week for us. Evidently, a little more voting involved in our winning than Prince Charles. His words were slammed on social media by viewers, with many branding him disrespectful. Now, Ulrika Johnson has shared her thoughts about the frowned upon moment. The ex-gladiators host began by saying she had grown increasingly bored and frustrated with people sharing their political thoughts and beliefs at big events. Kirsty Alsop slams Meghan and Harry's treatment of Queen she went on to say, I don't much care for your opinion on the monarchy, Mr Armstrong. If I did, I'd ask for it. A woman grandmother and great-grandmother has just passed away. Many people are mourning. The 55-year-old added that while some may not be as sad as others about the monarch's death, it is still a great loss. There is a time and a place for protests and statement making, a time for objection and for having your opinion aired. This wasn't it, she wrote in The Sun. Following Jess's comments, actor Brian Cox, who was also on stage, chimed in, Keep it royalist. Keep it royalist. The screenwriter continued, I'm not saying that we're more legitimate in our position than he is, well leave that to our people. We are incredibly grateful to have this, it's a wonderful honor. This group is extraordinary. It's a team effort. William's masterstroke invitation to Harry called into question, revealed Nicole Kidman tells how she avoided giving Meghan and Harry advice, interview Michael Sheen fumes at Charles Ives' insulting visit to Wales, reaction King Charles III became reigning monarch following the death of his mother the Queen on September 8. The 73-year-old has been next in line to the throne for seven decades. News of the Queen's passing was announced shortly after it was revealed she had been under medical supervision. A state funeral will be held for the late royal on Monday. Addressing the nation just a day after her death, Charles said in a statement, The death of my beloved mother, Her Majesty the Queen, is a moment of the greatest sadness for me and all members of my family. Mourn profoundly the passing of a cherished sovereign and a much loved mother. I know her loss will be deeply felt throughout the country, the realms, and the Commonwealth, and by countless people around the world. During this period of mourning and change, my family and I will be comforted and sustained by our knowledge of the respect and deep affection in which the Queen was so widely held.